Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter tissues and in the previous module we discussed up to connective tissues. Today let us learn about muscular tissue. Muscular tissues are responsible for movement of our body along with our skeletal system. We know the bones are helping us to move at the same time muscles are also attached to the bones to allow this movement. And the muscles have to contract and relax in order to make the movements. So for that, muscles contain a special type of proteins called contractile proteins. Means the proteins able to contract and relax. Muscle tissues are actually made up of muscle fibers. Muscles can be classified into three categories. The first is called a striated muscle. Second, unstriated muscle. And third, cardiac muscle. We have to discuss how do they get these names. Striated muscle. Striation means what? Some lines or stripes. So when you look at these muscle fibers under the microscope, you will find light and dark striations on them or lines or bands on them. That's why they are called as striated muscles. Whereas when you look at the smooth muscles or the unstriated muscles, you will not see any light and dark striations. So they are called as unstriated. Whereas when it comes to the third type cardiac, it is a very exclusive type of muscles found in the heart. They are also having faint striations. Actually, their characteristics are intermediate of these two. So, it does not have dark striations or bands like this, but some faint striations are there. Now, they are otherwise called as skeletal muscles or smooth muscles. So, striated muscles are otherwise called as skeletal muscles because these muscles are attached to our bones and they enable us to move. Movement is possible due to the uh, skeletal muscle. So since they are attached to the skeletal system, they are called as skeletal muscles. Whereas they are other, uh, these are called as smooth muscles because they are not attached to any bones. They are smooth or they are found in the internal organs without skeletal support. So they are called as smooth muscles. Then the third name, voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary means according to our will or wish. Suppose I want to move my hands. It's under our, my control, I can do it. But if I want to stop the action of my stomach, suppose if my stomach is turning food, I'm telling my stomach, please stop doing for some time. I can tell, but my stomach won't listen. Or my blood vessel, I'm telling, okay, uh, just to contract and increase the pressure. Nothing will happen because they are not under our conscious will. So they are called involuntary muscles. And the third cardiac is also involuntary. And cardiac muscle is different from the other types of muscles in a particular way. We know that whether it is skeletal muscles or smooth muscles, they get some rest after some period of work. If I continuously do some work, exercise or running or walking, I will get fatigue in my muscles. I get tired. Then what do I do? I go for a rest. After some time, I can resume my work. Whereas in case of cardiac muscles, poor muscles, they cannot rest. The, from the time of birth till death, they are continuously working. If they start taking rest, our life will be also rest in peace, right? So, we should say that cardiac muscle is entirely different. You have to thank cardiac muscle for the continuous rhythmic contraction and relaxation they are going through to keep us alive. Okay. So now we will discuss where do we find them. As I told, the skeletal muscles are attached to the skeletal system. They are found basically in our arms and our limbs so that we can move. Whereas involuntary muscles are present in the internal organs. They are forming the wall of the stomach or the alimentary canal. They are present in our blood vessels. They are present in our bronchi. They are there in our ureters, urinary bladder. All these places we find the smooth muscles. Cardiac muscles are found only in the heart. When we discuss their structure, the skeletal muscles are cylindrical, they are unbranched, they are multinuclear. You can see many nuclei here with dark and light striations on them. Whereas involuntary muscles or smooth muscles are spindle shaped, uninucleate, without dark or light striations. Cardiac muscles Cylindrical like this, but it is unbranched, here it is branched. Here it is multinucleate, but these are uninucleate like the smooth muscles. They have some disc here, intercalated disc, and they have faint striations on them. 
So these are the three types of muscles that you have to study. You have to learn their structure, their function and their location and also different names, why are they called so. So hope you understood this concept well. If you have any doubt, please comment. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Biology My Passion.